You need to own a house there. Just need to You just be comfortable, you. Okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Well, another loss for Manchester <laughs> United. Well, <laughs> KK, watch a game, man. Um, you watched it. Yeah, watch it together. Mixed emotions. Well, probably our first game together, right? Yeah, first game together, <laughs> man. First different, man. That was nice. Uh, we are going for an awards dinner, by, a, a, a dinner, by the way. Mm. And uh, it's a FUBA dinner, the right. Federation of Uganda Basketball Association. So, yeah. you know, my guy KK here. Yeah, he, he hosts basketball yeah. live basketball on tv but fun. anyway let's talk man you guy so we we lose <sighs> again but we are flattering many, many times as if we're doing something very ineffective what's wrong with united <sighs> people are calling for ten hugs head already already you know um saturdays you 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 hope to tune in to watch your, your team play mm. and uh after beating crystal palace midweek i mean again many people said it it was fool's gold Mm -hmm. They're playing a different Crystal Palace, mm -hmm. a completely different eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, their manager is very carefree. Well, yeah, 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 he right loves to attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't care. And he's been in us he's before, bold. I think twice at, yeah. at Old Trafford. So yeah. the third consecutive loss. Yeah. yeah. So um, listen, Crystal Palace were, were up for it today. Um, mm -hmm. Even with Vieira, they, they were a bit of a bully. Yeah. We, I think we needed that in the past um, a last minute goal. I think from Matic. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. To steal one of those games. So um, they've been that team. All right. Uh, what can I say? What can I say? Yeah. Uh, but listen, this game, you and I, we, mm. it was again, what, what can you call it? Who, who, who to blame? Because we had moments where we, we looked like we were playing, we were attacking, mm. we looked comfortable, but we are not effective, KK. That's my problem. This team is not effective. To be honest, I think, let's go back to the team that played midweek. Yeah. Um, you have Marshall up top. Yeah. Um, so, so you don't have Wayland. Mm. They didn't have Bruno. Mm. They didn't have Rashford. They had a very free team that touches the ball twice and moves. They didn't have ball hogs. Yeah. And they didn't have players who are dying to to be heroes in games. Yeah. So that was that's why that game they were very effective. Mm -hmm. You know, uh in this one, again, some of the guys who have those those behaviors that we kinda hate. And uh, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but my man, MBE, Mr. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Rashford. Um, running into blind alleys. Mm. And he has, he has been <sighs> doing this every game. I feel like Rashford, really, to be honest, yeah. has not improved at anything in the past so many years he's been on the scene at United. He has stagnated, you think? I feel. I feel he doesn't oh. give us more. I don't know what... We need to... Is that it time we started benching him? I think, you know, also one of the reasons, you know, he played, you know, you know really well um you know coming to last season the fact that um mm. it was the first time he was really really healthy mm. and um you know for the most part uh you know we're driving through uh traffic in, traffic, in, yeah. in kampala uganda here a person can take your phone <laughs> <laughs> they probably lost their money on the yeah. budget United bag, but, so, yeah. um, but you know the, the thing about it is i think when he gets too much into his head mm -hmm. there's a problem yeah. and also the scouting report in england now knows how he plays that is why when he came onto the scene yeah. in his debut in the europa league in the, the, the premier league against city against arsenal he was just beating up anybody then also when he plays he plays really well when he plays with marshall yeah. what's this traffic all about yeah so because marshall knows how to marshall knows how yeah. to open up spaces for Rashford yeah. to work, to work yeah. he also drags defenders with him yeah. but that's when marshall is playing well and scoring that's yeah. when he opens up for but for me, the question is, we looked so comfortable in beating Crystal Palace. Midweek. Like about in midweek. Yeah. I mean, the, even the, the formation, I think we seem to play a different formation. Players look comfortable. This is, for me, that was one of the most comfortable games for Man United. Even for me as a fan. Yeah. If it's working, why fix it? Differently. But again, um, again, this is another problem. You have to look at the entire team on the day. Um, you know, you may look at the weather. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 no. As a manual fan, but no. Anyway. Uh, but also, you have to look at the ineffectiveness yeah. of uh, Facundo Palestri. Yeah. Um, we've been calling yeah. for him to start, to start, to start, to start, to start. And many of these kids are better off the bench to find yeah. tired legs. They've been also watching the game. They've also been yeah. frustrated. Yeah. So off the bench, just like Ole Gunnar Sosha did yeah. in his playing days, they'll get off the bench yeah. and, you know, you, you see Ganacho do that. Ganacho turned the Manchester yeah. Derby around yeah. off yeah. the bench last yeah. season. Yeah. But now when they start the game, um, they're, they're trying to do too much. Yeah. They are fired up. They go, they go, they go. They're pumped up because I'm a starter. I, they probably didn't sleep. I, I feel like you spoke about uh, Pelistri. I mm. feel like he, he keeps playing the ball back a lot. He's scared. He, he tries to improve, to improve a bit. Yeah. But I still feel 
what he, he's still afraid to go forward i think he's in his head as well um here's the thing because in the, in the past few games he's also been beating the man mm. and going and people have been saying he's been a, a bit a bit erratic sometimes mm. so then i guess when he reads all that he then now plays within his head to play it safe mm. let me keep possession let me keep go going mm. you know mm. i think because of the of how people are pressing the in the league now mm. but even their law mm. the fullback is being pressed mm. <laughs> how did you like amrabat today um same old amrabat to be honest he didn't put a he didn't play badly he, yeah. he stopped their runs he was ever he needed to be um the thing is this if we had won today mm with Amraba playing exactly how he played yeah. would have been like wow, wow it was yeah, brilliant yeah, yeah, but I the results you know overshot yeah. as a man who was everywhere yeah. tonight mm. uh he stopped their attacks he was he played in the left back yeah. right back he, center he, back he has got the life in the team i feel he, he has for the ball he keeps the ball moving yeah. um he's not afraid to you know do things he's aggressive it's beautiful he's that careful. he's exactly i mean we so love watching him play yeah I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people cutting bald heads yeah. because of uh sophie and Amrabat. but but he brings that energy to the side yeah. but the missing link we feel tonight has mm. got to be someone we didn't think would be a, a factor yeah hannibal hannibal um, i wonder why he didn't come on i didn't get that um i think because his energy was needed at some point he i think seemed to be pressing i felt like i think ten was in his head a lot thinking you know i'm playing crystal palace at home i beat them once i don't need hannibal's energy mm. right now i can maybe incorporate mount more casemiro but I think Hannibal's going to play against Galatasaray in the Champions League. I think in this game, he's thinking, mm. we're going to have the ball anyway. Mm. We're going to have them pinned back. we did have the ball. I yeah. think we had possession. Of Hannibal, on the, Hannibal on the ball is not, is, is not very, very effective. Yeah. You get. So, you th you probably thought, I don't need my modern yeah. day Fletcher. Mason Mount. Let's talk about Mason Mount. Okay. Mason Mount is all over the place. He's trying to impress. And trying to that's impress, the problem. But he doesn't do Why are our players ineffective? The problem was also this is that they're getting the ball in the places that they're not effective in. And, and here's the thing Mason Mount was held as the next Frank Lampard. That means to be the next Frank Lampard, he was shooting from the mm, number 10 spot. Yeah. He was shooting just outside the box. Yeah. Those spots there are so crowded now in modern football. Yeah. That's, that spot is no longer there. Yeah. And now, so that's, that spot has people like Bruno running into it. Mm. It's. He gets the ball, but he has to tap. There's like four guys on him who know what he's gonna do. Mm. You get so. Um, but Mount, here's the thing. Uh, I love his work rate. Right? Yeah. The the other things are gonna come when I believe that the, the the wing starts to open mm. up people because I think we are so predictable in the wing, mm. and if our attackers are so predictable, it means it can't open up for anybody. Yeah. You know. Bruno, he spoke about Bruno, man. Bruno. Shouldn't we be benching Bruno and Marcus Rashford? Is Eric Ten Hag afraid to make Can I tell tough, you drastic decisions? Can I tell you something? Huh? Bruno is your captain. So you have to bite that bullet. No, no. <laughs> Bruno is the Here's the thing. The captain has got to perform. That's yeah. what we are demanding of Maguire. That's the reason Maguire was stripped. He has Bru to perform. Bruno is not being the Bruno artist. But uh, don't we play better without Bruno? We actually do. do. I think I think midweek that's something. Um, without him, the, the ball moved a lot better. Yeah. Uh, we were quicker on the ball, um, and people are freer. I think I, I think when Bruno's on the pitch, I think there's some players who yeah. maybe don't like playing with him. Okay, I, yeah. that's tough to say. Yeah. But he's yeah. one of those guys who he, he's also I, I in his he head a lot. The rest of it. Yeah, he can be in his head a lot yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, can I cross? Can I shoot? And then he doesn't like. Should I make the run? Should I go? And and and, and KDB said, you know, he's the most. He has the most chances created. Yeah. But what kind of chances are they? Yeah, they're not quality chances. They're, you know. It's just a lot, just a lot of margarine on that break. Hoyland. Not Nutella. Came to score a goal. Should we start demanding him to score goals? Dude, let me tell you something. Is he being served I'm, the ball? Just like, uh, what's his name? Just like uh, Sofian. Mm Hoyland -hmm. played great. Great. Like, he was in the sports day to be. He, involved in he could have scored, what, three goals tonight. Yeah. He almost scored his opening goal. Um, uh, but he was cleared off the line. He was going ultra for that golden up, but this dude just went whoop, picked yeah. it off the line. Yeah. Uh, he there's a turn. He had that man. He controlled that, knocked off this dude. He knew what to do. He was in the right place. Yeah. He's asking for the ball in the right spots, and he is just looking to connect. Also, there's also that thing of my first goal, my first goal, my yeah. first goal, my first yeah. goal. It's in his head as well. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, he got his goal in 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 in, in Germany. He's looking for I think his first Old Trafford goal. So there's a, there's there's that thing, yeah. and it plays on so many guys' heads. But once that goal comes, and we know oh, this oh, okay. Premier it's League, come. yeah, it must come. Mm. I, I, it feels like it's soon. 
I, honestly, I felt like it was. He made the there. right runs. Uh, yeah, he, he, did, he did all right. All, all together, this mm. team has improved. Let's be honest, in terms of how they play. They play I, thought, I thought they played exciting. Yeah. yeah. Besides the loss so and it's, the, it's uh, just that those early, early, those goals knock us, knock us out. Yeah. We're, like, we're playing. We're playing. We're running out yeah. of this. Everyone's at home. at Old Trafford. Yeah. People are drinking juice, eating their sandwiches, yeah. taking selfies. We're at Old Trafford. Yeah. So, the, so, so the, the the players are happy. Yeah. And then boom. Okay. Okay. As we. Just sum, sum it up now. Oh, Man City lost. Two or three drastic decisions mm. you would make if you are Eric Ten Hag in the next game. Uh, I said Marcus. And uh, I said him down. Ganacho starts. I don't start Ganacho. Who? I just I just put a bunch of midfielders in there. I don't have any runners in there. Yeah. I, I actually start Mount. Mount. I have to put Hannibal in. I think um, this winger thing is sometimes overrated. Yeah. The yeah. runner then what? Nothing. I just need clever runs. Yeah. Sometimes what I need is just. Uh, that, that's how we beat Crystal Palace. Yeah. We didn't have wingers. We didn't have, we didn't have wingers. We were playing without wingers. Well. Thank you. And that's crazy. Because because I have Hoyland, I actually play Anthony out left. He'll open up the gaps. And and, and here's the thing, and, and I've always said this, I actually prefer Anthony Marshall to Marcus from the start. And I just feel Hoyland can lift his spirit. Sofian can lift his spirit. Because I think I think Marshall also kinda hates playing with Rashford. Anyway, to... Bottom line is Eric, if you're watching this, we're not saying anything. Marcus Rashford out. <laughs> Who comes in? That's Love you, Marcus. You you fed kids in England, you're a great guy. Uh, you're a dude. You're on your way to being a son. Mm-hmm. Um but listen, dude, I think you're burnt out four goals in yeah. now eighteen Premier League games. Yeah. And only against London teams. Um nah bro. Um what sport, man? The traffic man what time are we going to get there i don't know I hate african people. time we left after the game by the way this uganda this is uganda this is kampala and we are going to be hosting the africa cup of nations in 2027 so you better start knowing about kampala i'll start taking you around by the way as i do my videos i show you the place that's going to host the africa cup of nations four years from today uh-huh. anyhow hot, hot spot we didn't talk about Onana, by the way, but uh, that, that goal was unstoppable, bro. Yeah, you can't <laughs> from the it. corner. Yeah. But it was all right. I mean, right. I didn't have to do much. Though, though does that save, I think, from yeah. Uh, Hughes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks, KK. Thank Let's you. go enjoy our dinner. Yeah. Time to eat, guys. Hot spot. Subscribe. Bye. Back in our traffic. <laughs>